Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Johnny Big Rig Hendricks and George Rush St. Pierre. All right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction. GSP, wildly popular, not just in his native Canada, but around the world. Many people, DC, believe, pound for pound, that George St. Pierre might be the greatest UFC fighter of all time. He is one of the greatest fighters of all time. If there was an MMA Mount Rushmore, George St. Pierre would be on everybody's list of top five fighters of all time. Just an ability to mix everything together. He was truly the evolution of mixed martial arts from the wrestling, the striking to the grappling. He was a guy that did everything and did everything well, and it made the level of mixed martial arts raise because everyone was trying to catch GSP. And I got good news right next to him on that Mount Rushmore. Daniel Cormier, raise that yeah, hand! Got you, Come on, John, don't do it to me. <laughs> All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. George St. Pierre is nine years the elder. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, George Rush St. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Johnny Big Rig And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? So round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Gonna be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, trying to pass here. 
as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, keep busy, guys. Let's just out. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice stick with the right oh, hand. This is some high level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Johnny Hendricks. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, nice hammer fist there by GSP. Outstanding pressure from top position here by George St. Pierre. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. St. Pierre's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Hendricks. Round two next. Well, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five minute stretch in his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually, you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hendricks. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. 
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is really one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together, is when guys struggle. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Johnny Hendricks. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arms stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. While right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Right, Third and final fight. round here. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not the Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotate head outside, just goes off a lot. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by St. Pierre. Hendricks' pass attempt denied. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by George St. Pierre. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Defend, 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 defend. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, working inside the close guard now. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by GSP. Hendricks is back in half guard, very comfortable here. Side control now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by George St. Pierre. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Seconds to go now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 15 seconds. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Hendricks. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. The official decision is in and resides with the judges. The judges score cards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 28-27, St. Pierre. Judge two scores it, 28-27, Hendricks. And Judge three scores it, 28-27. For the winner by split decision, 
George Rush St. Pierre! Those split decisions are something else. He is happy to exhale at this point in time. It was a close fight, and the judges certainly felt that way as well. It's the worst feeling in the world. When you go to the middle and you're just not sure, your heart is beating so fast especially when you hear your opponent's name called right before you ultimately win the fight. He put in a lot of work, he fought through the adversity and got the job done. He should be very proud.